Good morning. It is currently 7.42 a.m. on Saturday, March 14th, 2015. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So today, I thought that I might talk a little bit about the cartoon Steven Universe because I've been thoroughly enjoying that show lately. I think it's just getting better and better. But as I was thinking about it, it occurred to me, have I talked about that already on five more minutes? And uh, I looked it up, and sure enough, I did. It was a while back, way back in number nine, so that's like almost two months ago now. I can't believe I've been doing this that long. Um, so, although I will st certainly still give a shout out to the fact that I still think that show is amazing, um, I thought I would instead talk a little bit about just the idea that it's going to get harder and harder to remember whether I've talked about something already or not. I mean, that's one of the weird things about both doing something every day, but then also doing it first thing in the morning when my brain is not necessarily 100% awake yet. Um, cause I feel like I, I, <laughs> I definitely cannot remember the stuff that I've talked about half the time. Like yesterday, I talked about Terry Pratchett, right? Was it or was that the day before? See, like I can't even remember like a couple of days ago. Like sometimes I'll remember individual things, but certainly, you know, it, it's like when people say, what did you have for breakfast on September the 14th? I have no idea. I don't remember that stuff. Why should I? So this is why I hope that I will uh, never be called to be a witness in a trial because I don't remember things like that. Although it's also true that I think um, I have a suspicion nobody does. Maybe there's a few rare, rare exceptions. But that just reminds me again now of the interesting stuff that I I like to think about with regards to neurology and that sort of thing and the malleability of human memory. Memories don't work the way that we feel like they work and it's not actually that we even have a perfect understanding yet of how they work but one of the things that science has definitely suggested Hey, Luna, come on. One of the things that science has definitely suggested is that um, our brain is not really like a computer hard drive where you have uh, a file stored. Well, so like imagine that, uh, so, so basically every time you are pulling up a memory for a deep you know, deep long-term memory and you experience that memory, like you're, you're processing it and everything, it doesn't stay saved the way it was. The actual experience of remembering it makes it susceptible once again to being modified. And so if, for example, you're feeling very angry at someone and you remember an experience, a previous experience with that person, it is more than possible, it is likely that your, your, your emotion will actually color that memory such that the next time you remember it, even if you're in a neutral emotion that time, you might remember that, uh, that experience as a time that you were angry with that person. And Further, our brains are really good at filling in the details of things that we did not actually see because that's just, it's a useful skill for us to be able to see a part of something and make an assumption about what the rest of it is um, so that we can make quick decisions about things. And that's a very useful skill most of the time, but what it can also mean is that you might actually only remember 40% of something 
but your brain has filled in the rest. And so you think you remember the whole thing, even though you really only saw a small part of it. And so as you can imagine, that would actually make it very difficult uh, uh, to uh, testify to specific details of things that happened a long time ago in, say, a trial. And that's why first-hand witness testimony is bogus. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna keep barking. Uh, we're over five minutes now. Anyway, so I'll call it a close for today. Remember, you can find all my stuff at ChristianaEllis.com. I'm at Christiana Ellis on Twitter. I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.